In today's video, we're going to learn and show you how you can easily lock any app on your iPhone using Face ID on iOS 18. So Apple introduced a brand new feature on iOS 18 that lets you lock any application on your iPhone with Face ID. This little feature will add an extra layer of security to your device, and it will prevent other people from accessing specific applications on your iPhone. So firstly, make sure that you are running the latest version of iOS, which is iOS 18 at the time of recording this video. Since this is a new feature that they rolled out, this will not work on iOS 17, iOS 16, or lower, so you have to make sure to update your iPhone to iOS 18. Now, let's say I want to lock Instagram on my iPhone with Face ID. All I have to do is to long press on the Instagram app icon until this menu appears. This will show us a bunch of options related to the app, but we'll click on this Require Face ID option at the top. It's going to show us this message where it will tell us that Face ID will be required to open the app or use Siri with it. So even if you use Siri with Instagram or any app you want to lock, you'll have to scan your face with Face ID in order to do that. Also, the notification previews and the spotlight will not show app content if the app is locked. So you'll see two options in here, and I'll show you how to hide apps in another video. I'll just tap on this Require Face ID, and the phone will scan your face in order to enable the feature. So we've locked the app on our iPhone, and now when I try to open the app, the iPhone will scan my face just like when it does when I'm unlocking my device. It's pretty fast at unlocking the app and scanning your face, and if I exit the app and try and open it once again without looking at the phone and without showing my face, you'll see that it says that the face is not recognized. So this is a pretty useful feature in iOS 18, and if you want to check out other iOS 18 features, make sure you check out the iOS 18 playlist from the description of this video, and I'll see you in the next one.